The next stop is on the radar radio. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Yeah. Yes, sir, baby, on the radar radio. Yo, special guest in the building, Chicago in the building, Kashmir in the building. What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome. How you feeling? How's New York treating you? Good. Y'all traffic, hmm, but everything else. Good. Everybody always says the traffic, man. That's the, oh, that's the only part. It's, it's not that bad. No, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. You knew. It's bad. <laughs> you had a long night at the studio last night. Yeah, I was in the studio all night. I see the baby murder. Murder B. Oh, you was a murder? Yeah. She, Shout out murder, man. She popped in, popped out. Shay. I was going to say, I was, because I, obviously I know she got the song out with Mellow right now. I was wondering <laughs> if you guys had connected. I saw she followed you. I hadn't sure if y'all had already been working on something. Yeah, we met in, um, we met in Chicago at one of the video shoots, at one of Mellow video shoots mm -hmm. for High and Dirty when they shot High and Dirty. Yeah, yep. she... Did y'all make anything last night? Hmm? Y'all made anything last night? No, the baby was sick. Oh. She was sick. She wasn't feeling good, so she had to leave. Oh, God. You call her the baby? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because she a baby. She like 18, 19. She yeah. Young. How old are you? 21. Are you 21? Okay. Yeah, yeah. so she is technically a baby. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I I, honestly, I thought you were like 19. Yeah. Yeah. You got that a lot? Nah. People actually think I'd be older than my age. Really? What do you be getting? Hmm? What do you be getting? Like, what do they be saying? They just be like, I thought you was older. Like, my mindset and how I think, how I move, they think I'm older. Mm. And even with the music too, like the like the way that you are like lyrically and shit like that's more mature. Uh, probably not. Not, not on the music side, but I'm saying like talking with com and conversation with people, mm. they think I old think I'm older than what I am. But like on the music side, I mean, I rap like a little baby kid, so why would they? <laughs> a little baby. Kid. Like that's why are you saying like that young though? Young shit, cause I don't know. You still young? Like, yeah, I am young. Twenty one is is young. It is. But why do you say like a little baby kid? Like like a little kid. And I feel like I could be way more mature with my music. Mm -hmm. Like I know I am, like I know I will be. Mm -hmm. Like I just it could get better basically. Mm. You're saying there's room for improvement. Yeah, basically. Well how long have you been making music for like officially then? Since I was thirteen. Since you were thirteen? Yeah. So, so I'm still growing and developing, basically. That's what I'm saying. Right. I was gonna say from thirteen and now the whole time you weren't <laughs> completely serious about it like you are now. Yeah. Kinda. Kinda? Like, I used to think it was serious back then, but I wasn't doing it seriously. Like, mm. I wasn't moving serious. I was still a child, so I couldn't really do too much. But now, I done grew. Like, I let my music grow with my age. So, it's getting a little older. Mm, I was about to say I'm not that yet. I'm not that yet. Like, what? I still got some maturing to do. Mm. I was going to say, are any of those records from, like, the 13 to 16 age range are they like out there on the internet yeah somewhere hiding under an alias it's a different name that's why i just changed my name i just re like you know how lil wayne got so many different names yeah yeah that's that's the type of time i'm on mm. or like how two chains used to be titty boy yeah like you're not gonna find that shit like i'm not searching that up <laughs> i'm not searching that up you're not gonna find queen sunny like it's not nothing there no more. I that, that was a name? Yeah. Queen Sunny? Uh-huh. I like that. Yeah. When did you change your name? Um, Like 2020, 2021. Because you wanted a more mature name or? No, because it was this club named Cashmere, and I, cha I changed the whole thing up. So I said that I like the name. I like how it flowed. Mm -hmm. So I changed the name. I changed my name to it. So it was a club? Yeah. In Chicago? But it was spelled C-A-S-H-M-E-R-E. -E. So I changed it. To the K. Yeah. So It added my own to it. I, I recreated it. Mm. Where was the club in Chicago? I don't remember. I honestly don't remember. Like downtown, kind of. But if you ask me an address, I'm not going to know. Mm. But you used to go there a lot, and then you were just like, oh, no, I'm going to steal that. I literally just seen it. Like, I seen it. That's it. I would never go there. I just see that. I rode past one day, and I seen it. And you're like, I bet. I'm going to that name? Yeah, it was wrong. I'm about to steal that shit. Yeah. Like how you see Cascades. I've never been to Cascades, but that's a raw ass name. If I didn't have Cashmere, I'd probably finesse that name too. Like you just see stuff and you want to recreate it. Mm -hmm. That shit that you're inspired by. Yeah, it was, I, I was inspired. What's been inspiring you lately? Um, 
As far as music mm-hmm. or just life, period. How about both? Like, everybody that's older than me that's on their stuff is very inspiring. Uh, like, artists that grow, that came from Chicago that's way bigger than they were, like, years ago. Like, their improvement and their growth, that inspires me to be better. Um, just life, period. Everything, everything that's bigger than me, honestly, is inspiring because that just means that I could get there too. Because you had to be small to become big, right? And right now, I'm a little small, so we going bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, I'm big to me. I ain't big to the world yet. So mm. in my crowd, my immediate crowd. Nah, but you've been going crazy. Uh, first of all, congratulations on on Boom slash Mouse Thank you. Hitting, uh, just pass them. And am I think? Hold on, let me just see. I just I just had it up. Too. Yeah, I did. But um, I did peep that I had just passed an M. So congratulations on that. Thank you, thank you. Um, it was funny because when Mello was here, the song wasn't out yet, and Mello was telling me about it, mm-hmm. and she's like, "Watch this," and I was like, "I believe you." Like I'm like I'm like I believe you because the way that you're saying it, you like, I believe it. Yeah, because <laughs> you know when Mello speaks, like Mello's like very dead ass. Like she's very mm-hmm. serious about this shit. Mm-hmm. So she's like, "Yeah, I got I got this record with these girls from um from Chicago," and she's like, "It's watch this. It's gonna be a smash." Mm-hmm. So when it came out, I was like, I was like, "Oh, this is fire!" And then obviously you see you and the other girls um on the song too. I just love that because it kind of reminded me of like a lot of like what goes on with the New York girls right now. How like there's a lot of incredible New York female artists who are popping off. So seeing this for Chicago mm-hmm. was just such a dope experience too. Yeah. Um. The the name of the song changed too, right? Uh. Uh. Yeah. But I can't really speak on it too much. Mm, okay. Because I'm not. Um. Like I barely know anything for real. For real about it. I just know that. Um. I just know that it got changed, and I knew Lotto was on it. So. Okay. I'm like maybe it has something to do with that, but I don't really know. Oh yeah, maybe because sure. of the lot of thing or some yeah. pro- type of labor yes, situation. Yes, yeah, probably. I don't know though. So industry politics. Just, yeah, probably. But I think it's fire. How long had all of y'all known each other for? Uh, well, I met Mello on Clubhouse like around December mm-hmm. of last year, and then Mani. I met her at the studio, and me and Amari Blaze. We went to school together. Um, out there. So, yeah, we know each other for a long time. I was a freshman in a junior class, and she a junior, so she was in there. So that was like big sis at the time when I was in school. That's hard. Was it like um, was there like one person who kind of like round, like did Mello get everybody together? Did you have a part in bringing it? Like how did the, the record of all of y'all coming together come about? Okay, so it's this, um, it's an Instagram like vlog for Chicago. It's mm-hmm. called uh, Chicago Wave or whatever. They made a post like the next female artist to blow up in Chicago, and we all it was like a ballot or whatever. So it was like twenty of us on there, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it was like twenty of us on there that was the next to blow in Chicago, mm-hmm. up out of Chicago basically. And Amari commented under there, and she was like, "I think we all need to do a cipher or some type of song or whatever together." And then, I guess the girls had well we all liked it all literally all of us that was in the studio um replied under it it was like yeah come on so she texted i think Mello, and Mello um had found a beat she introduced us to this uh producer named choo choo mm-hmm. which that's the beat maker of boom or whatever and it got sent to her sent to them and i sent them on instagram they had tagged me in a post on Instagram and it was like basically they at the studio. So I pulled up to the studio as I'm driving. They caught, they uh, sent me the beat. I'm like, send me the beat because I don't have the beat. So I pulled up and I was literally driving there right into the song as I'm listening to the song in the car. I'm like, this is so hard. Like, it was crazy. I knew it was a banger though. You knew? Did you think it was gonna go this far? Like it was gonna be this big? I could feel it. A woman's intuition is strong. I felt it through the whole studio. The vibes in the studio, it just felt like we did something so big, and everybody' energy was like you could feel it. Like you could feel it mm. when you when you came out. You know how you, you in the studio, you record in the booth, you hear it, you're like, yeah, this hard. But when you come out the booth and they turn the music all the way up, you be like, damn. This hard because you feeling everything. You feeling the bass. You feeling everything. So it was like turned up. And then how everybody was acting, it was just like they was lit. Everybody like once was it was lit. done, you were like, oh shit, yeah, well, this is the one. Yeah, right now. and the producers. I mean, I, yeah, the producer was the producers was turned. Uh, the engineer was turned up. The managers was turned up. Everybody was lit to the song. And I'm like, for sure, 
Pues no. Since then, has there been like a moment like that has been that has stuck out to you that you've been like, damn, like I can't believe that this is happening to me now. Like the first thing was meeting Glorilla and her open enough and we open enough for her. Like that was that I couldn't even take take the moment in like I wanted it to because it was just so so shocking and it was like, dang, we just we just did something. Mm. We created something big for ourselves, and it's not just touching our city; it's touching numerous of city. It's touching the cities. It's touching the the world. Damn, right. that's how I was feeling at that moment. So that was big for me, and yeah, that that was that was one of the biggest, the first biggest moments. Congrats on that. Thank you so much. Did you guys it get to like fun. hang out with Glow backstage too? Or? Yeah, she did the dance and everything. Like that <laughs> she, it was so lit. Like she did the dance and everything. And then it was some boys back there too just looking like, yeah, they doing that shit. Like they want to hop in it too. Like <laughs> Yeah, that's, we had a ball. That's fire. Shout out Glow. Yeah, for sure. Because Glow got mad energy too. Yeah, she do. And one thing about Glow, she loved learning like the new TikTok dances, all that shit too. Yeah, she's so sweet. She is sweet. She is sweetheart. I love her energy. I feel like it's kind of been like one thing after another for y'all too. It's like every every week is like, okay, they got this, they got this. You got the new song out, new freestyle, mm-hmm. new video. Like it's just everything's moving in the right direction from you. I also because like I peeped like on the gram, like I saw that um, I had seen like obviously like Gloss Up have followed you, and then yeah. uh, I saw Peasy too. I think mm-hmm. so. I think it's cool how you know you mentioned obviously. Um, you mentioned obviously like glow, but like it's cool seeing like someone like you know other artists from other places yeah. really starting to fuck with you too. Obviously, yeah. glossing glow that connection's there, the tour, whatever. But like peasy, like Facts. that's dope. Yeah, it is. All of them, everybody that's that was like I said, everybody that was bigger than me also inspired me. So them seeing them, seeing my inspirations, it's crazy because I'm watching everybody blow up like in front of my eyes as I'm trying to progress with my music. So it's like I'm taking in all the people that I'm watching grow. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, yeah, I got room for improvement too because if they could do it, then I could do it as well. So yeah, it is that's big. Being in a room with a whole bunch of people that's on the same type of time, which was it, even bigger, like. Mm-hmm. That's big to me. Yeah, and it changes your life too, because now yeah. you like you see what like the other side of like this is like too. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like you get to be in the back room with Glorilla, like you see like oh like this is what my life is uh is about to be like too. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? As I reach these new heights. Facts. What do you want to accomplish by the end of this year? Like what is kind of like what's your what's your goal for yourself? My goal for myself. My goal for myself every day is to be better than I was yesterday. But the Respectfully. the goal of the year is to be the next big thing out of Chicago and to keep my same energy and not change like mm-hmm. negatively because this game can change you real bad so being my stick staying myself sticking to myself and being 100 with myself and making it where I know I need to be and know I know where I can be mm. do you feel like this game has already like tried you in that way or try to change you or have you had to go through certain situations now that you gotta like you, you haven't had to deal with before or deal so, with before? I'm so rock hard on what I done taught myself before I was able even to enter it like this for real, for real. Mm-hmm. So it's like if it is, I'm not distracted by it. Right. Like I don't think I've been distracted by nothing yet. Because if I was distracted, I probably wouldn't be here right now. That's a fact. All gas, no brakes. All gas, no brakes. So what's coming next from you? I got slime green on the way. Um, I got so much stuff. I've been really posting snippets on my Instagram, yeah. so that's really what I've been on. I've been getting my catalog together, and I'm also like putting certain stuff out there on IG so that like my snippets, so that they can, so I can see what they feel the most, like, mm. cause that mean I could continue moving in that type of direction. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then I'm ver- I'm real versatile right now, so I'm going in every direction, though. But as y'all can see, everything I drop going to be a little bit something different every time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I can just see how it how it affect. You know what I'm saying? Word. Well, I'm excited for you. <laughs> Thank you. Congrats on everything. It's been amazing seeing you and the girls go up. You know what I'm saying? I, I know you're going to kill it the rest of this year, so we're going to get some new singles. Um, Just drop. This drop because I know the people I see them in your comments. So yes, I be seeing them. Too. They sick of you. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you doing? Drop now. I'm like, all right, I got you. Every time I get ready to drop, I'm like, mm, not this one. Let me let me reevaluate because I wanted everything to be laid out nice, like the right way. Yeah. But then also you gotta just drop all the irons hot. Yeah. Strike while the irons hot. Yeah. Uh.
Yeah. Yeah. You got this. <laughs> you got this. Well, by the time the people see this, the freestyle's out now, so make sure you go check that out. Um, before we get out of here, we have you wrap. Uh, anything else you want that the people know, where they can follow you at, all that good stuff. Now's the time to do it. This camera on the right right here. Okay, what's up, camera on the right? Um, y'all can follow me on Instagram at K A S H H dot M I R R S Cashmere. Um, my TikTok is the same way, and I just got a Twitter for y'all because y'all keep bugging me about Twitter. It's the same way, so make sure y'all go follow me. Love y'all. Oh, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the same way. There you go. Well, make sure you go follow her. Um, go run up everything she has out now. Go run up the freestyle. That is out now. Um, go show her some love. Go show her some support. Love is free. Support is free. But y'all already knew that. Till next time, Kashmir on the radar. Chicago in the building. We out. Boom. Appreciate you. Love. And happy.